Hey Mini Enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back. I think this is part 40. Um, so, I vaguely remember where we left you last time. I've done a few more bits since. We've got the brake compen centre cleaned up, painted and back in. We've got this earth point all back in now. A few other bits on this bracket in the corner, painted, cleaned up and put back on. Um, a few other bits and bobs. Brake pipes, of course, I'm not that OCD that I would paint all the brake pipes as well, but I have. <laughs> um, and we've got a big pot of paint here, big box of paint. So that means I am now going to spray the inside of this wheel arch in body colour. Um, so I need to mask out carefully because I'm at that point now where I need to watch for overspray. So I don't want to get any of this with green overspray on any of the loom or anything like that. So let's get it all masked up and uh, then we'll get that inner wing painted. Right, that's the wheel arch done. Looking pretty swish now, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we're not going too mad. <laughs> um, although I've put a bit of lacquer on it as well, just for a bit of extra protection. Uh, this shock mount I've put in and I've just put grease on the back of that. And right up the top there, it's just all going to get waxed now. Um, but yeah, that's nice and tidy. I'm liking that. And just finally, guys, as you can see, it's all being waxed in there now. So, fingers crossed, that should stop it corroding. Right, guys, this sort of thing really annoys me. So, this is a mini spares... I, I, it's not a genuine teardrop mount, so, you know, all the full me. Uh, but they say, you know, OE spec or as good as OE, blah, 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 blah. Look at that locating pin at the bottom. One, it's bent like a banana. And two, it's way too long. I tried putting that in and it doesn't go in. It doesn't sit flush because this pin hits the opening in the front panel. But that is... It just annoys me. Yes, I know they're cheap, but make it right. And just, just to prove it's not a fluke, there's the other side. Now, someone's probably going to tell me they're meant to be bent like that. But it is just rubbish, isn't it? Right, so there's the subframe ready to go back in. Uh, mounts are on. I've only got the bottom arms in. I haven't got anything else on the subframe, really, just to keep it nice and light make it easier to maneuver um those some front front subframe teardrop mounts are in now uh, and i've got new rear mounts as well on the subframe i'm just not quite sure how i'm going to get it in on my own i might have to get a bit of help so i need to lift the body over the subframe and then lift the subframe up but i'll have to go and give the wife a shout
Right, so there we go, got some help off the missus there, so please excuse her pyjamas, she wasn't too impressed when I said I was filming. Um, so the uh, rear uh, subframe to floor mounts are in and bolted up, the, the bolts, nuts and bolts are just loose, tower bolts are in, uh, the bolts are just finger tight, uh, the fronts line up, but I need to shim it out now, so I need to put some shims in there just to make up uh, the gap between the uh, teardrop bushes and the front panel. Uh, originally it had three, four shims on the near side and two on the off side. Just looking at it, it's probably gonna want one on the near side now and two on the off side. So it's pretty close, uh, but these are, these are what they're like. They're just, like I say, these are factory because I've seen these in other minis I should think sometimes they probably get taken out, lost, and not put back in again. Because all you, all you're going to do if you don't put these in, you're just going to pull the front uh, panel in a little bit. You probably wouldn't notice it, to be honest. It might stress the front panel a little bit, but yeah, that's all they are. I won't film that because it's dead boring. Uh, and see you again soon.